so this is jaggery uh, as written it's unrefined evaporated sugarcane juice uh, there's a lot of molasses still in it and it's pure so there's no preservatives or anything like that in it so it comes in large slabs that I normally cut into about an inch size piece, piece to put into a 1.9 liter jar uh, while I'm brewing. That's the size of container that I use to make my first ferment with the water kefir grains. So uh, it's a regular mix of half a cup per liter of uh, water to a quarter cup of grains. So I'm going to mix that solution for the first ferment. This is organic cane sugar, raw organic cane sugar, and I'm using spring water, which has no chlorine in it. You can use filtered water as well. Um, let's give that a stir until it's dissolved. So if you're using filtered tap water, uh, just leave it out until the chlorine evaporates, uh, probably overnight or for a few hours. So I've been doing this twice already with these grains. You can see that they're not pure white. They're slightly mildly like a creamy color. And some of the grains have grown uh, more rapidly than when I just used sugar and water and uh, do my first ferment. So, so the grains are larger and healthier compared to the past times that I've just been doing it in the ordinary way of just using sugar and water. So this is uh, growing rapidly, a little bit more rapidly than just plain sugar and water. So I'm going to continue for the next few times and see um, if these grains double in size. They've actually doubled in size because uh, I brought them out of dormancy. They were in the freezer and then I restarted this batch. So they've grown quite a bit for just uh, the second time. This will be the third time that I'm going to make the water keeper with these grains. So I'm adding the grains back into the jar and I'm going to add the water to this. This is Himalayan salt. Um, it adds natural minerals uh, to the water that uh, nourishes the grains. So I'm going to stir this into the water and uh, Mix it and once it's dissolved, add it to the grains. So the natural minerals in the wat in the salt um, adds a pH balance that uh, gives the grow grains like natural food. Uh, the minerals all help to um, nourish the grains. So this is the solid cane sugar juice. I'm just going to add it to this jar uh, and add a little water to dissolve this. So just let it sit for a while and it'll get soft and, uh, and you can mix it up until it dissolves and then add it to your grains. Uh, you can actually break the, the lump up and uh, once it gets a little soft after soaking in the water and then you can just uh, jab at it and uh, the grains will melt down really quick so you can melt it and uh, it'll dissolve quicker so once it dissolves add it to the water and then so let's add that jaggery water to the sugared water mix I'm going to give it a stir and then 
we're gonna pour it into the jar for the grains. So we're just gonna stir this in with the grains and make sure it's well dissolved or well mixed and blended. So now it will be covered and left to ferment. Uh, takes about three days, uh, the cooler kitchen uh, climate. So if you have higher temperatures, it may be faster. I check it every day though, to make sure everything is okay. And uh, the bubbling starts actually in, by day two. So keep an eye on it. Always label your kefir so you'll know when you started it and 1f is the first ferment and keep a check on it and see how the progress is over the three days so this is how you grow your grains uh, just added himalayan sea salt and jaggery uh, in the past i've used molasses but uh, molasses gives it a very rich uh, taste and so when you do your second ferment, uh, the molasses really affects the flavor of your second ferment. This adds a milder flavor, so it doesn't affect your second ferment that badly. So all in all, I've tried uh, ginger uh, for a second flavoring, and it goes pretty good with uh, the taste of uh, this cane uh, juice flavor. So you can... Try any flavors you like and maybe settle according to your taste. So this is now ready. It will first uh, go through its first ferment and then I'll do a second ferment with uh, different flavors. Uh, there's also an initial video tutorial that I did on water kefir, how to start it. So uh, I'll put the link below in the description box. And... Uh, yeah, I'm having a little bit better success with the, uh, growing my grains this way. Uh, if you need to purchase the grains, it's available in uh, East Indian grocery stores. Uh, so you may want to look for it. Uh, it's called Jagri and uh, probably available on Amazon as well. Here's uh, two bottles that I'm doing my second fermentation uh, with these i just added uh, some peaches fresh fresh peaches and i'm gonna try and see if it blends in with the mildly flavored jaggery uh, in the mix you can either leave it in a dark cupboard but i like mine on my counter so it's in a little warmer spot right next to the stove uh, so it's covered and it's going to be kept like this and I'll check it daily.